up next, a light heavyweight showdown between John Jones and one of the most lethal strikers in the world today, the Brazilian, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. Silva comes into the octagon with a striking advantage over every opponent he faces, Mike. He's got pinpoint accurate strikes, a truly demoralizing counterfighting game, and he can knock you out with either hand. Anderson Silva ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. John Jones, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. John Jones is a supremely gifted athlete. He is explosive with his takedowns and his strikes, and he can be very creative in his attacks. Spinning elbows, heel kicks, he is a human highlight reel. John Jones, fired up and ready to go. Tale of the Tick is brought to you by Zenergy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider Silva! And now, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things you started. Ready, you ready? Anderson Silva, John Jones. And here we Fight. go. His previous experiences, Anderson Silva's at the Shootbox Academy, were with, amongst others, the Hua Brothers and Vanderlei Silva. And you know they go hard at Shootbox. They go so hard at Shootbox. And they have expressed interest in meeting each other again someday in the Octagon, perhaps at 205 pounds. And I think that would be an incredible matchup. Some vicious kicks. Push kick. He is getting battered. What an exchange here. Oh, good combination. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, big spinning back fist. Oh, big kick. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. Oh, big shots. The crowd showing their support for John Bones Jones. Jones is bleeding here, Mike. That cut on Jones has really started to open up now. Nice body kick. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Excellent combination. Oh, head kick. Oh, big, big head, head kick. kick. And now he's answered. Oh, good combination. This crowd is going nuts. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. And he's got he's side, side control. control. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kaborum. I don't think it's quite tight enough. He got out. And he escapes. 
Just over a minute remains. In the full guard here. Under a minute remains. Oh, answered by a left hook. He's down. Really taking some nice angles here. Yeah, good shot. Oh, big shot. He's down. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. And the chanting switches to Anderson Silva. They go the distance and will head to check out the judges' scorecards. Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely won't. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, John Bones Jones! John Jones reigns supreme.